My name is Lorenzo Marchetti. I'm a paleontologist and I study the trace fossils of vertebrates. We are near Trejovo. This is the most important site of the mega caldera of the Atesian volcanic complex. This is a site which is dated 280 million years and it's a really remarkable site because it allows us to reconstruct the paleo environment and the paleo ecosystem through the studies of fossils which include plants, pollens, invertebrates and vertebrate footprints which is what I study. This is something interesting. This could be a footprint of a lizard-like animal, a partial footprint, judging from the dimension of the track. It could be an animal long as this lab. Uh, this kind of animals were the most common at the site, and they were lizard-like animals that range in dimensions from 10 centimeters to 50 centimeters, and also, but much rarer, amphibians about 10 cm long, which uh, look like modern-day salamanders. The study of uh, tetrapod footprints is really important because it allows us to understand uh, which animals live at the site, also when we don't have skeletal remains, as in this case, and furthermore, uh, they allow us to understand the behavior of the animals, so we can understand how they worked and how they lived, and you can't do this with other kind of fossils. About 100 meters below us, the succession of Prezovo begins with volcanic rocks. After that, we have about 100 meters of lacustrine sediments. And in these sediments, we find the fossils, such as plants, which are deposited during the wet season when the lake is higher. And then uh, we got tetrapod footprints that are formed when, during the dry seasons, uh, when the animals could walk the substrate. And after that, we have a transition, so a change of the environment from lacustrine to fluvial. And you can see this looking at the strata, which are thinly laminated and finer before in the lacustrine system and then they become thicker and coarser and more irregular in the fluvial system and after about 50 meters of this we got again volcanic rocks. The Trejovo site is really important because it allows us to understand the climate change uh, because in this site we find a lot of animals and plants adapted to dry environments and this testifies to aridization and seasonal uh, environments and this is similar to what's happening uh, today with the uh, global warming only that at that time was caused by eruptions such as the caldera eruptions and today is caused by demand.